Are you a new user to Nina and have trouble with the imaging UI? Are you bothered with how it looks and how much unnecessary information you see? Doesn't it behave the way you want and everything is everywhere and you're losing yourself having to reset the layout every time? I'm here to solve this issue for you. Hello everyone, my name is Stanley from Dark Skies Astrophotography and today my goal is to explain how the imaging window works in Nina. First of all, I went on and reset the layout to the default settings. The layout you're seeing is the layout Nina normally ships with. It is very generic and sort of an all-purpose layout and you might want to personalize it to your liking, removing and adding panels as you go. This is a very powerful but also very intimidating feature of Nina. So um, let's start by adjusting this initial layout. For example, uh, I don't care for the weather, so I will just close the tab. And it's gone. As you can see, the layout dynamically readjusts to it. Now, uh, let's reposition some elements. Um, where do we start? Here, let's, let's take the sequence window. I normally either use the imaging or sequence, but rarely both together. So I'll just grab it here. And as you can see, I've picked it up now. And as I hover over the different windows, you see some docking elements like this one here, or these two here, uh, these here. And I will just drop it into the center. And that makes it a new tab inside the imaging. I can also rearrange those tabs by just clicking and dragging them back and forth. Now I have the sequence in here. Not a problem whatsoever. Now I like to have the statistics to the right side of the uh, of my Nina panel. So I will take them and again, so I'm going here, but I don't want it to be docked inside that window. So I'm putting it here. As you can see, it will just like open up the bottom half and I'll drop it here and bam, the statistics are here now. Beautiful view and I have more space, although not really, I still have the age of our history here. I'll take that and well, um, let me put it here. You can see you can also re uh, readjust the sizes of all the panels here between each other all the way you want. So, so far so good. Now I want to have the manual focus targets prominently and permanently displayed so I have an easier time to manually focus. So what do I do? Um, I'll go here to the manual focus targets. Sadly the pop-up is cut off a little bit. I'll open it and as you can see it opened up a new tab here under the image window. This is normally where new tabs appear. So as you can see the window is relatively sparse with information or there's not much in there so I want to put it over here maybe so I'll just take it and put it right there I have the manual focus targets as a tab next to the image history which hmm, I don't like it that in this position I'll put it into let's say under the guide there as you can see, it also dragged the manual uh, focus targets with it because I actually accidentally dragged the whole window by dragging it here. But I can just take the manual focus targets as a tab and just drag it out and I'll just put it here again. Easy peasy. Not a problem whatsoever. It's pretty simple when you understand how the dragging and dropping works here. And well, if you find yourself lost either way, uh, well, you know, this button, <laughs> just reset the layout and everything will be back to standard. So let me show you a small experiment. I will uh, disable all the windows and create a f new layout fully from scratch. Uh, let me just close everything here and close this and this and this and this and all of that. Okay. Now we have a fully blank slate. Um, let us begin. I will try to add the elements that I think that are personally necessary for me. Let us just go through them real quick. So we have image. Yes, I want my image. Camera. Yep. Um, why not? Filter wheel. Yep. Focuser. Uh, I don't have a rotator, so I will not be activating that. A telescope. I have a guider. I also want a sequence. Uh, I don't care for switch or weather. Statistics is always nice. HFR history is also useful. And then on the right side, what do we have? Imaging, yep. Image history, no, I'm not really caring about that. Blade solving, yep. Not caring about polar alignment. Autofocus, also yes. 
Focus targets, nope. Exposure, exposure calculator, also nope. Okay, so now as you can see, I have like the image. And below that, I have the tabs that I just opened that I feel I need. Normally, I'd put all my equipment stuff to the left side, so let's just try start with the camera. Drag it to the left. Okay, this is a very huge panel, so I'll resize it. The filter wheel, also drag it in there. Okay, so good. Then focuser can also be put in there. Telescope can also be put. So now I have my camera, filter wheel, focuser, and telescope all on the left side. That's pretty much exactly how I want it. Now, hmm, what else do we have? Guider, yes, guider. I normally put to the bottom like this. But then it kind of takes up too much space like that. So let me quickly just do this, drag this over here. The telescope on the left side now, and again, focuser of that. Now the guider doesn't take up the whole bottom anymore, but just this part. Okay, so what else do we have? Sequence, yes, okay, put it on the right side. So now we have two uh, freeway panel again, just resize it the way you like it. Uh, but I kind of want more guider information, so I'll, I think I'm not going to dock it to the right side of the window, I'll dock it to the right side of the image. You can see the difference is, if I dock it on the image, uh, it's only taking this part. If I dock it to the right side of the window, it's taking like the whole half, so I'll put it over here. Then statistics, um, yeah, just put it over here, kind of useful there. HFR history, well, make a new tab here. This is normally what I'm doing, so something like that. Imaging, as I said, I put it into the sequence, and I have both imaging and sequence in the same tab. Plate solving, I can... Uh, plate solving I normally leave like in the main window uh, af after image. And autofocus I normally put somewhere like that. And that's pretty much it. I started from scratch and created a whole new layout that is <clears throat> absolutely personalized for myself. Um, I hope this was helpful to you and to see how this docking works. As you can see, it's not super difficult, but it takes a little bit to get used to. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, have clear skies and a nice day.